Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Today I am unboxing a diamond painting from a company that I have never used. Uh, it is called The Good Canvas and the website is thegoodcanvas.com. So I'm looking forward to this one because it's a totally new company to me. So here we are. This is uh, from thegoodcanvas.com. First time I've used the company, so I'm really interested to see what we find. So I'll just uh, open the end. So just plain white box, uh, no indication of who it's from. Uh, have a look inside. Something in here. Okay. So it was the key that was inside. So this is what we have here, Ruby Owl, 60 by 40, and it has 22 colours, uh, which actually isn't as many as I thought it was going to be. Uh, just a lot of colour, but not a lot of colours. So we have DMC, good old 310 black. Um, how many drills of each colour? How many bags? So that's it. And this one's sealed. Good old crinkly paper. It feels quite heavy. Uh, I quite a lot of drills. Try and get this out first. See what we get. So, yeah, quite a few packs there. Very small packs there. Um, the old goodie bag. So we have green tray. Blue squidgy. Which is for the pen. For the pink pen. And we've got a multi-placer on the end, um, something I never use. I think that might be a tent. Well, hang on, should be on it, maybe not. Mm, can't see a number, but I think that's maybe a ten. It's quite big. Um, tweezers, standard tweezers, and the good old pink wax. So that's uh, our goodie bag. And have a look at the drills, more crinkly, rustly noise. Everybody's least favourite part. That has a lot of drills. So, quick look at them, they are square drills, very small bags, and the number is in the perforation, where normally I would expect it on the bag. This one's a bit closer. Just pick some at random. Yeah, normally uh, the numbers are on the centre of the bag, just uh, that one there obviously the machine's been out of line and it doesn't really matter though, um, it might be, well you can still see it there but I was going to say it might be difficult if you only had one bag 
and the number is cut in half and you can't read it but I think you could still make out that that's meant to be 550 but yeah, just one of these things <coughs> nice big bag of 310s that's quite good uh, they've put it in a sealed bag somebody's actually just written 310 um, 310 for anybody that's new to diamond painting is black it's the DMC number for black so you'll often see people writing about 310 and what they're talking about is black drills so rather than having a ton of uh, these small things they've put them into one big bag and I'm just having a look here to see the three tens nine and a half thousand so um, yeah I mean just looking at this the 150 there's 181 of them and you get two bags so the small bags I'm used to them being 200 in a bag so I don't know if that's 200 doesn't look like it but it's surprising um, but for 181 they gave me two bags so um, let's try to see what the lowest number is that is actually the lowest quantity 181 Two bags for that. Um, not sure how many's in these. Anyway, this is uh, all the colours. Nice bright, some nice, really bright colours here. Um, you can see this is normally how the numbers are. They're in the centre of the bag. Easy to read. Some nice uh, bright colours here. Pink, blue, orange. Have a quick look at the drills to see if we can see any flaws in them. They look fine. And no oil. Uh, sometimes you'll see like a film inside, like a wet film uh, inside the bags, and that is oil uh, which, from the machines, which causes problems when you're trying to pick the drills up. So you have to wash them. Um, I haven't had it yet, touch wood, uh, with any of the diamond paintings that I've done. Um, but I have seen videos um, where the bags have got like this thin layer. When they move about you can see the, the, the drills look a bit wet. Um, so no problems, no problems with that. Everything looks fine. All I have to do now is just double check. Uh, what you should do with the check sheet is check how many bags. Um, so obviously the 310 is just one massive bag, so it's the equivalent of 48 bags. So I just have to take it that it's right. Um, it is quite a lot of drills. I don't think I'm going to have a problem. Uh, so what I should do is, uh, I'll just pick one as an example. Just for anybody that's new to this, um, three seven two one, three seven two one. Is that two? Yeah, three seven two one. So if I look for three seven two one, three seven two one, two bags. Three seven two one, two bags. So what you do is go through and just check these off. Make sure you've got all the drills uh, before you start. It's a good idea because that way if you're short, you can contact the company and say, I'm missing so many bags of whatever colour it is. And they will send it out to you. Um, as far as I know, all of the companies will do that. If you're short, you contact them and they'll send them to you. How long it takes to get to you is the problem, uh, especially with things the way they are now. But after saying that, I've noticed that uh, orders that I'm putting in are coming through a lot faster than they were so I think a lot of companies have now got by the, the problem with the distribution so uh, it shouldn't be that much a problem so what to do is check it all and if you find that you're short of anything contact the company give them the DMC number which is this one and tell them how many bags short you are and they'll send them out to you. 
um, and then hopefully uh, while you're working on it, if it's the only one you've got, you get the bags um, before you're finished and then you can just fill in the spaces that are left. So it shouldn't really be a problem um, so far, again touch wood. I haven't been short but I've been very close. Some t one in particular I think I had four drills left so that was uh, a bit worrying as I could see I was running out but I had enough. So I'll move all of this and <clears throat> we'll have a look at the all important canvas. I don't know really if I have anywhere to put these, I'm just going to dump them on the floor. Pick them up there. I don't think I'll drop the 310 just in case it decides to open. Um, right, okay, so canvas uh, isn't poured glue. Uh, it's got the opaque covering which means it's a sheet of double sided glue so again um, before I open it I suppose we should look at the key um, the print is fine sometimes uh, they can be hard to read but this is fine so it's got all the colours here 1 to 22 so 22 colours and this is the good canvas the good canvas dot com is the website and crafts that spark joy is their catchphrase and a small thumbnail of the owl ruby owl 60 by 40. so what i'm going to do is uh, have a look at this so again i say this every time i do these what to do is get the corner be very careful that you don't pull up the glue because it's a double sided sheet of glue and if you've got sharp nails or long nails you can accidentally catch the glue and when you pull it back you're pulling the glue off the canvas if you pull it back and it folds on itself um, you're in deep trouble so just a couple of seconds just to make sure and the way that I do it is I fold it back a little bit and I put my finger underneath the paper and if it doesn't stick to it, we're fine. If I did that and my finger stuck to it, it means the glue is lifted with this. So what to do is just gently put it back, press it down, and then try again, just to get that cover. That's all you want to cover. So release one side, and then the way that I normally do it is I do one side, then I go to the opposite side. Again, careful, just using the edge of my nail, and making sure that I don't have a sticky back on the canvas, uh, on the cover sheet. And then I just work along the top to release the whole thing. Oh, accidentally ripped it, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's it. Now because I tore that I need to try and pull it evenly so that I don't rip the whole thing all the way down. It really isn't a big deal even if I did because you just stick it back down and it covers it anyway. But what I'll do is I'll fold this back and catch the other one and try and pull the two at the same time. So I'm trying not to continue that rip. Whether I'm successful or not I don't know. It's the first time I've actually tore it. trying to be even there we go so it started off with a tear I got past the tear so now I should be able to just pull it back and what we do is we go past halfway it should be past halfway I think and then we just let it go back down turn it round you can see this is what it wants to do because it's been curled, uh, curled up in the box it automatically wants to go back into that shape so what we do is we uncurl it and do the same thing again so just go for the corner and lift it just checking underneath it's not sticky so that means the glue is where it should be 
to umělo. To je na svým stejným. Just pulling off the edge of the glue. That's it. So then we've got the center. Pull it back. Just got that corner. Pull it back. There's tension on it. Once I get to where I've pulled it off on the opposite side, that's there. It suddenly goes loose, so you know that you've gone far enough. You don't need to pull all the way down. And then just drop it back. And that's it. You see that it doesn't want to curl up anymore. It's flat. Uh, again, I'm going to take the whole thing off, which really you don't want to do because there's a chance that dog hairs, cat hairs, cookie crumbs, dust, whatever, can land on it and it's a pain to get back off. So just be sure that nothing touches it. It's very, very sticky. It's not something you want to accidentally drop on the floor. So just taking that cover off to let you see it. So very bright. This is it, Ruby Owl. A quick look at the print. Nice and clear. No bubbles. Sometimes with this, uh, this process of the double-sided glue, you can get air bubbles trapped. I'm just watching that I don't stick it to the table. Um, you can get air bubbles trapped and uh, that can cause a bit of a problem. But absolutely nothing wrong with this one. The canvas is actually, uh, it feels softer than normal. Uh, it's not as quite as uh, hard. Some, some of the, the canvases feel quite starchy. This is nice and soft, nice and pliable. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with this. I think this is going to look really cool when it's finished. So the goodcanvas.com. First time I've uh, got anything from them. So yeah, nothing to complain about at all. Everything looks good. So, another nice diamond painting from a company that I haven't used, so uh, thegoodcanvas.com. Everything is absolutely fine. Uh, as I said, the, the canvas was a bit softer than uh, norm the sort of, I'll say normal, the sort of standard ones, um, just a little bit nicer. And print, perfect, the drills look fine absolutely nothing wrong. I um, also noticed, I didn't mention it when I was doing that bit of the video, but they give a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So if you have any problems with anything, they will rectify it. So you don't have uh, you don't have to worry about that, that if something is uh, wrong or needs uh, change, replaced, whatever, contact them and I'm sure that they will uh, do their very best to help. So uh, that's it for today, maybe. I think this is now my sixth today. I'm, I'm doing a unboxing, unbagging marathon today. I just I've got the time, so I'm trying to get uh, as many done as possible. So thanks for watching again. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of uh, this sort of thing about diamond painting. Um, hit the notification button and you'll be notified when any new videos go up and that's pretty much it so in the meantime take care be safe and wash your hands